these are chanterelles. They belong to the group chanterellus. There are several different genera within this group, but we'll just call them chanterelles for, for the sake of simplicity. All chanterelles are going to have a few characteristics in common. They're mycorrhizal. That's why you'll almost always find chanterelles occurring in groups. You'll very rarely find one chanterelle alone. So even if the others are hidden under the leaf litter, it's a good, good chance that where you find one, there are more nearby. Chanterelles all, all have, almost all have, either a orange or reddish orange cap. There are a couple exceptions within this group that come in different colors. They'll be lighter in color. There's one species that is very dark, almost black, but most chanterelles are going to be orange. Those chanterelles tend to grow in groups, they don't grow in clusters. And this is an important diagnostic feature to distinguish them from another species of fungus that at first glance can often look deceptively like chanterelles. Jack-o-lantern fungi uh, look very similar to chanterelles but they tend to grow in true clusters, usually from a piece of rotten wood or from the ba decaying base of a tree. And jack-o'-lantern fungi are uh, poisonous and should never be confused with chanterelles. So that's an important uh, distinguishing character to keep in mind that those chanterelles tend to grow in groups, they're not growing together in clusters. Chanterelles don't have true gills like most fungi do. They have veins instead, which can look a little bit like gills, but are not quite as distinct. So if you look at the underside, you'll see these ridged, forked um, veins that occur on the underside of the cap, and these are very characteristic of chanterelles. Usually these veins will fork near the edges of the cap as well, which is another helpful ID key for these fungi. Chanterelles, when you break them apart, will always be white on the inside of the mushroom, as opposed to the jack-o'-lantern fungi that we talked about, which when cut in half will be orange all the way through. Another helpful feature to distinguish these two groups from each other.